In the 1970s, violence spiked between rival mob factions, earning Cleveland a dubious distinction as Bomb City, USA. It took a young, fearless prosecutor, Donna Fitzsimmons, to help take down the organized crime in Cleveland and earning herself a place in the Mob Museum. Leon Bibb has this story. This is the story of the mob, the mafia, and the Cleveland woman who brought it down. Even Las Vegas knows her story. But let us begin at the beginning, in the 1970s, when Cleveland federal agents wrestled with the mob, the real thing, Cleveland back then. 1977, we were the bombing capital of the United States, 27 bombings. Donna Fitzsimmons knew the underworld. Years before she became a Rocky River Municipal Court judge, she was a federal prosecutor handling the case of Angelo Leonardo, mobster and boss of the Cleveland crime family. But under Fitzsimmons' pressure, Leonardo turned witness for the prosecution, spilling the beans on the Cleveland mob. In the 1980s, Leonardo was headed for prison and Fitzsimmons was headed for stardom. So we're very pleased by the uh, results. We really had a great jury. They were very conscientious, and we think the result was justified by the evidence. Four decades later, she basks in the story of getting Leonardo to turn evidence enough to tumble the mob's biggest names. It was quite a victory in the sense of being able to prove to a jury how it all worked, that this really was a conspiracy with Angelo at the top. The Cleveland family was very big, very big, Leon, and that's why it is so amazing it could be brought down as quickly as it was. She is in the Las Vegas National Museum of Organized Crime and Law Enforcement, the Mob Museum, and hailed as the prosecutor who outpunched the old Cleveland mob. I was in the case that was the last case that brought the mob down, yes. It was in Cuyahoga County Common Police Court that Donna Fitzsimmons was first inspired into the legal profession. Her father, who worked in the Justice Center building, would bring his 15-year-old daughter, Donna, into courts like this to hear the testimony and see the cases. Teenage Donna Fitzsimmons was learning about the courts and about the law. And I said, when I came out of that experience, I said to everyone, that's what I want to do. And she did, eventually crossing swords with mafia leader Angelo Leonardo. Now you are playing Las Vegas. Yes, I know. You're at the museum. I know. I mean, you and you and Las Vegas are synonymous. I, the Mob Museum and Donna Congeni Fitzsimmons, same thing. Yeah, and I've only been to Las Vegas twice in my life. Greater Cleveland's Donna Fitzsimmons in a starring role in a hard-as-nails, edgy picture but a true one about the woman who brought down the Cleveland mob. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.